what's good YouTube it's your boy P money so I'm back on it with another video about some shit that's going down in Phoenix now the Phoenix Police Department is under investigation right now um, for this heinous act that they had against a black um, homeless man who I guess was also mentally ill I believe and he was surrounded by like I want to say like six or seven cops um, they kind of did a George Floyd style execution on this man um, back in 2017 and the uh, the man's daughter actually ended up writing a letter to Joe Biden and I guess he took it and ended up starting a Department of Justice probe into um, the Phoenix Police Department and rightfully so because I've seen so many times over the years um, their police department is just doing like excessive force using deadly force you know against black people especially but there's also others involved as well you know what I'm saying um, but I want to focus mostly on the black people of course you know what I mean because I'm black so everyone else that's involved in the other race, they can also talk about that. But I want to focus on this homeless man that they killed George Floyd style. You know what I'm saying? And absolutely crazy and disgusting from that police department up there. And I've seen it before. Like there was, I remember there was another story that I looked at before that um, they had rolled up on this man with his wife and young daughter with their guns out and then one of the cops old or I don't know if he's old but he's definitely a white man saying I'll bust a cap in your ass I'll bust a cap in your ass um, just I don't know being racist in the motherfucker, of course, like they always are, to try to provoke somebody, you know what I mean? Um, he tried to say, I remember that story that they, they were trying to say that the little girl stole something from like Family Dollar or some dumb shit like that, you know? Like, oh my gosh, you followed him all the way to his house to harass him, you know what I mean? Him and his family, scare them, scare the little girl, you know what I'm saying? It's just insane. And, and I'm sure that these police officers, if they're having a bad day, you know, they go into an area that has a lot of homelessness in it and they start harassing those people, trying to get them up out of there. If they, they'll make up some story about their resisting, you know, all types of stuff. And it's about time that these police officers and police forces all around America, not just in Phoenix. Even down here where I'm at in Tucson, they need to be doing a probe on these motherfuckers too. Because there's been a time when I was doing Uber that a motherfucking police officer told me that if I remembered his address, he would kill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I'm providing a service to you and you want to act stupid like that. Like, the fuck out of my car. Don't ever threaten me like that again. I don't give a fuck if you're a cop or not. You ain't supposed to threaten nobody like that. You ain't supposed to threaten nobody's life, period, like that. Especially right now in this current climate. You know what I'm saying? So, this shit right here, man, it's just beyond ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? They should be doing this for everyone, not just Phoenix. So I don't understand. I've already seen, like, there was another article, which I'll post in my reference articles in the description box, that they were saying, oh, we don't have enough 
we don't have enough people, we don't have enough personnel, they're already fucking trying to find excuses on this investigation, they don't want to do it, because they understand that these, uh, these police officers are in for a fucking world of hurt, and rightfully so, because this shit is borderline disgusting, like, if, if people like Senator Tim Scott saying that this is not a racist country, which is bullshit in itself, it's like, come on, man, are you serious right now? This isn't a racist country, but why is this not happening to anyone else except for black people? Like, why? Why is it not? You know what I'm saying? But you can tell me that this isn't a racist country. Like, I, I beg to differ. You know what I'm saying? I really beg to differ. But, yeah, man. Like, this story, when I saw this, it was, it's good to see. I don't know where it's going to go. I'll definitely be following up on this one to see where it does end up. Because they're talking about it could take anywhere from a year to 10 years to 15 years for them to find anything which is bullshit in itself <laughs> you got video evidence of everything you don't need what does it need to take a year for why why does it need to take a year please tell me like give me a justifiable reason why if if a person is coming over here to do a probe into their stuff into their fucking paperwork and all of that stuff how they write stuff up how is that going to take a year? If you have a team of two to three people, how is that going to take a year? How? How? This shit should be open and closed real quick. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whoever's involved, whatever officers are involved in some racist rhetoric that they consistently do and on a daily basis that I'm sure of in Phoenix and here down in Tucson. I know they do that shit. Like, they need to get these motherfuckers up out of there. And this should scare people like these racist race soldiers. It should scare them into not wanting to be in the police force anymore. And that's that's what should happen. But we'll see how it goes. I'll definitely be following up. But I don't really have too much else on it. This is your boy P Money. And I'm off this.